Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you eight techniques for creating minimal websites with Divi. So these are the final designs we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new, and let's give this name minimal. Click on use Divi Builder. So for this design, we're going to design everything from scratch. So I'm going to select my first option here, build from scratch. And then we're just going to need a single row. Right, so the next thing we're going to do now is to add some padding to this section. So I'm going to come over here to the top left and click on this gear icon, which takes us into the section settings. Now, we need to come over here to design, spacing, and we need to add a padding of 50 pixels to the top and 50 to the bottom. So I'm going to select this chain icon because by doing this if I add my value here it is added both on the top and the bottom so with that set let's go ahead and save now the next stage now is to go into the row settings so I'm going to click this gear icon to enter my row settings so we need to add a gradient to this row so I'm going to come over here to background click on the second tab and then click this plus button so over here I'm going to add my first color and my first color is going to be white so I'm going to select it my second color is going to be a very light gray, so I'm going to click here and add my second color. So I'm going to paste this. So if you want to use the exact same values as I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the description below. Alright, so we've just added our second color. Now it's time to adjust our gradient type. So right now it's set to linear, we need radial. So I'm going to select radial and then our column radial direction needs to be centered, which is good. And then our start and end position needs to be at 40%. Right, so the next stage now is to uh, increase the sizing of our row. So I'm going to come over here to design sizing. We're going to make this full width. And then we're also going to come over here to use custom gutter width and say yes. And we're going to use a gutter width of 2. Now let's go to spacing and make our adjustments for our padding. So over here we need to add a padding of 0 pixels to the top and bottom. So I'm going to activate my chain and add my zero pixels. So for our column padding, I'm going to add 250 for both our top and bottom. And then over here for the left, I'm going to add 150. So while we're here, we might as well make our adjustments to our tablets. So I'm going to come over here to this little icon and click on the tablet tab. So over here now for the column padding left, I'm going to add 20 pixels this time. And for the smartphone, I need to set this at zero. So this just ensures that on these three different devices, our design looks consistent. Right, so this is all that we need to do here on the, in the row settings. So I'm gonna click on save. And then now it's time to add our text module. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, search for my text module, select it. So right now we have quite a lot of text. So we just need a basic description here. So I'm just gonna delete a lot of this text. Now let's go into the text font weight settings. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on text, and then I'm going to come over here where it says text font weight. I'm going to change this to semi bold. We're going to make it all uppercase. And we're going to do letter spacing of eight pixels. Now let's, let's add a bit of animation to this. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here, click on animation. We're going to choose slide, and then we're going to choose the animation direction. And this needs to be right. Click here. Select my right. And then finally, on our animation intensity, we need to set this at 5%. Okay, so let's move on to the next text module. So I'm just going to save this for now. And then I'm going to add another text module below this. So I'm going to click this plus button, search for my text module, select it. I'm going to add some dummy text in here. Now let's make adjustments to the font. So I'm going to click here on design text. And uh, the font we're going to choose here is called Georgia. I'm going to select it. So over here on our text uh, font color, so I'm just going to click here on this little eyedropper tool and then paste my color in here. Now this is going to be a gray. Now let's, time, let's add our text size. So over here, we're going to set this to 78. So we're going to click this little icon here so we can adjust our settings for our tablet and our smartphone. So for the tablet, we're going to set this to 50 pixels. And then for the smartphone, we're going to set this at 40. So for the letter spacing, I'm going to set this at 3 pixels. And we're going to give this a bit of line height as well. Because right now we can see it's quite difficult to read. 
So I'm just going to reduce my line height here until it's much better. So I think 1.1 EM is good enough. Okay, great. So now the next stage is to go to the spacing. So we're going to go to um, and set our margins. So I'm going to scroll down here to spacing. So our margin here is going to be applied to the top and bottom. So I'm going to click here on this chain icon and add my 100 pixels. So for our margin left, this is also going to be 100 pixels. And we need to make some adjustments here for our smartphone. So I'm going to click this little icon here, click on the smartphone tab. And instead of having 100 here, we're going to change this to 20. Okay, so now we can read everything in here, so which is great. So back over here to our desktop tab. Next, we need to add our padding to the left, and this is going to be 40 pixels. Now, let's add a border. So I'm going to click here on border, and our border is going to be on the left. So I'm going to click this tab right here at the end, and the left border width is going to be 6 pixels. So I'm going to select it here like that. And finally, we need to add a color to that border. And this color here is going to act as our accent color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool, and then I'm going to paste my color in here, just like that. So this design looks great already. So finally, let's add our link. So I'm just going to save this for now. And then I'm going to come over here again, click this plus button and add another text module. OK, so I'm going to select it. And then for, for this one here, we're just going to say learn more. And then we're going to make this a link. So what I'm going to do here is to highlight the text. And then I'm going to click this little chain icon. So this is what adds the hyperlink. So I'm going to click here. And for the URL, I'm just going to add a blank URL for now. OK, and then click OK. So now let's add some settings to this link. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on text. So for the font here, we're going to set it at uh, semi bold. We're going to make it italic and all uppercase. So over here, make sure your text orientation is set to left. And then we're also going to add a gray color to this link. So I'm going to come over here to my text color and add my gray. We're going to set our letter spacing to eight pixels. So now the next stage is to reduce the width of the text module. So I'm going to scroll down here to sizing. And then for the width here, we're going to reduce this by, I mean, down to, let's say, 46%, like that. And then for the uh, module alignment, let's align this to the left. So the next step now is to add a bit of uh, bottom padding. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and add my bottom padding of 10 pixels. Next, let's add a border to this. So I'm going to click here on border, and this time the border is going to be on the bottom. So I'm going to select my, my border style, and uh, this can be one pixel. And we're also going to give this a color, but this time we're going to use a color that we recently used. So rather than me pasting my color over and over again, I'm just going to come over here to recent, and this is the recent color that I've just used. Now, let's add a bit of animation to this. So I'm going to click here on animation, and then I'm going to choose the slide style. And uh, this time, we're going to slide to the right. The animation delay is going to be 100. And the animation intensi intensity is going to be 5%. Right, so this is complete. I'm going to click on Save. Next, we're going to add a divider module. So I'm going to come over here and, add, and click this plus button to add my divider module. Select it. So first of all, we want to show the divider. So make sure Show Divider is activated. So next, we need to add our color to this divider. So I'm going to click this Design tab, click on Color. Now, the color we're going to use here is the same color as this border that we used here. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now, the reason why we're doing this is just to make sure that we have consistency throughout our design. Next, we're going to come over here to our sizing and um, set our divider weight to 2 pixels. Next, we're going to come over here to our spacing, and we are going to add a left margin of 200 and a right margin of minus 100. So we are also going to add some animation to this. So I'm going to come over here to the animation dropdown, and our animation is going to be slide. Now, notice that we're still using slide throughout because we don't want to add a bunch of animation styles, which just makes the whole page busy. So stick to one animation, slide, uh, one animation type. That would work great for you. So this time, our animation direction is going to be set to left. So I'm going to come over here to animation direction and select left. And then our animation delay is going to be 150. So I'm going to set it here. And then our animation intensity is also going to be 5%. So pretty much this is our design. It looks clean. Now it's time to add our second section. So I'm going to come over here all the way to the bottom and click this plus button. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and click on regular. And then over here, we need to add some margins to our section. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on design spacing. So for our margins, I'm going to add the same amount to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to click this chain icon and my margin is going to be 80 pixels. So for now, we're going to save and then we're going to go into the row settings. Right, so in the row settings, we need to make sure that this is set to full width. So I'm going to come over here to design sizing. We're going to make this full width and also we need to set our gutter width to 2. So I'm going to activate it here and set my gutter width. Next, we need to add some padding. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. And for the column 2 left padding, we're going to add 100 pixels. And for the tablet, we're going to set this to 0. So I'm going to come over here, select tablet and make sure this is set to zero. And the smartphone, same thing as well, set this to zero. Great. Now it's time to add an image to our first module. So I'm gonna click this plus button, search for my image module and select it. Okay, so I'm gonna click here on this area and I'm gonna choose my image. So my, the image that I'm gonna use is already in my media library. So I'm just gonna select it and then click upload an image. Great, so now my image is added. Okay, so the next step is to add a right margin. So to make things easier for me, I'm just going to search for it here. And then I'm going to add my negative margin. And this is going to be minus 100. Okay, so now it's time to go and add our box shadow. So I'm going to come over here to box shadow. And this is the style I'm going to go with. So I'm going to select it. So let's start off with our horizontal position. So this needs to be set at 100. And vertical position also needs to be set at 100. Next, I need to come over here to the spread strength, and this is going to be set at minus 14. And we're also going to add our shadow color. So I'm going to come over here, click this eyedropper tool, and my color is going to be a solid color. I'm going to drag this all the way up, and then I'm going to paste my value in here. So you can see here that we have this really light gray. Right, so the next stage now is to clone this link. So all I'm going to do here is to click the duplicate button and then drag it below the image. So I'm just going to click and drag and let go. Great, so now we have it below the image. Next, we're going to come over here and also clone this text over here. And one other way to do this quickly is to just hit Command C if you're on a Mac and Control C if you're on a PC. And then just come over here and also paste it. Command V or Control V if you're on a PC. Right, so that's the quickest way of copying and pasting all your modules. And then lastly, we're going to do the same over here. So I'm going to copy it, paste it. So this time we're just going to reduce the text size. So I'm just going to come over here to my module settings and uh, let's just delete some of this. Now, if you want to use this design for your own um, projects, you can also replace this text with whatever text that you need for your website. Next, let's let's turn this into a header. So I'm just going to highlight it and set this to heading two. Now let's go into the text settings. So I'm going to click here on design, heading text. And remember, we set this at heading two. So I'm going to select the heading two tab. And we're going to change our font to Georgia. We're going to come over here to our text color. Set our text color and our text size is going to be 58 because we want this nice and big. And for our letter spacing, we're going to set this to 3. Right, so our heading looks fine. I'm going to go ahead now and save. So over here, what we could also do is to add a description text. So let's go ahead and add a text module here. So I'm going to paste my dummy text in here, just like that. So the next thing we need to do now is to adjust the size of this text module. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on sizing, and we can just reduce this size to about 70%. And for our module alignment, we're going to align this to the right. And then over here on the text, let's add a letter spacing of one pixel. So we're going to add a bit more text in here. Right, so this is fine now. I'm going to go ahead now and save. And then the next stage now is to add another divider. So I'm going to click this plus button, search for my divider module, select it, make sure show divider is 
set to yes. We're gonna add a color to this divider. So I'm gonna come over here to design, click on color. And then I'm gonna paste my color in here, just like that. And then for the sizing, we're gonna set this to two pixels. And now it's time to go into the spacing. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set a left margin of 200. And then for the phone, I'm gonna set this at 150. For the right margin, we're gonna set this at minus 100. And now let's go on to the animation and add a bit of animation to this. So again, we're gonna choose slide and our direction this time is going to be left. And the animation delay is going to be 100. And the intensity is going to be 5%. So this is our final design. So this is our first one that we just designed. And this is the second one. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.